Every January from the 18th to the 25th, we have a special octave of prayer for Christian unity. And often, the Holy Father makes this one of his monthly intentions. That's the case this year when we are praying this month that Christians of diverse denominations may walk toward the unity desired by Christ. But in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, we hear Jesus saying, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. And then he goes on to talk about dividing people even within one's own family. Does Jesus really desire unity for his followers? Yes. The division Jesus speaks about has to do with the truth. The truth will divide people because some will embrace it while others will embrace error and the lies that Satan, the father of lies, proposes. Jesus wanted his followers to hold fast to the truth in such a way that they would give a convincing witness to the world. At the Last Supper, according to John's Gospel, chapter 17, Jesus, praying for his apostles and for us, said, I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us that the world may believe that you sent me. In other words, the world will only believe in Jesus if it sees the unity of his followers. Our lack of unity is a scandal that stands in the way of many people accepting Jesus and his teaching. In his general audience of June 19, 2013, Pope Francis said, quote, Conflicts, if not properly resolved, divide us from each other, separate us from God, let us not go down the path of division, of fighting among ourselves. All united, all united in our differences, but united always. This is the way of Jesus. Unity is superior to conflict. So much damage to the church comes from division among Christians, evangelical Christians, Orthodox Christians, Catholic Christians. Why are we divided? We must try to bring about unity. And then, in September, in another of his weekly general audiences, Pope Francis said, Conflict, tension, and division injure her. And so the church does not have the face we would like her to have. She does not express love, the love that God desires. It is we who create wounds. Our unity is not primarily a fruit of our own consensus or of the democracy in the church or of our effort to get along with each other. Rather, it comes from the one who creates unity in diversity because the Holy Spirit is harmony and always creates harmony in the church. The Holy Spirit is the mover. This is why prayer is important. Pray to the Holy Spirit that he may come and create unity in the church." End quote. And so let us pray, as Pope Francis asks us to, that the Holy Spirit may come and renew the church, bringing about the unity Christ desired so that the world may believe. The following is a prayer of Pope Francis. O oh God, help us to be members of the body of the church, ever more deeply united to Christ. Help us not to cause the body of the church to suffer through our conflicts, our divisions, our selfishness. Help us to be living limbs bound one to the other by that unique force, love, which the Holy Spirit pours into our hearts. Amen.